Hey guys, me and Dave. It's, uh, what is it? 12... 12.19 already. Oh, Thursday's Christmas. So I thought I'd do a little video. Um, I, uh... I was gonna make a video last night, but I didn't. Um, I, I got caught up. I was talking to my sister on the phone last night, and... Um... You know, so I haven't talked to her for a while, and... It was almost midnight by the time I got done and um and then I went to bed around midnight um I wasn't able to sleep they let me sleep um until seven and then I had to get up and feed the dogs and all that stuff I've been up since 7 a.m um I'm still tired but I do feel a little refreshed um I feel a little bit rested um I was up for you know I was up for I don't know 40 42 hours or whatever it was you know, um, so I got a little bit of sleep last night, and I feel a little better now, um, you know, so, I mean, they kind of laid off me today, um, I mean, I still got remote near monitoring, which is 24-7, some days it's harder than others, um, today was a little bit better, but I did try taking a couple naps, and it just wasn't happening. It wasn't happening, so I, I, you know, I was up watching TV, and and I went to Subway and got got a sub and stuff, and for supper, and um, you know, it was, uh, um, you know, it was it was a boring day. You know, why did they want to keep me up all all day long? Um, and not let me take a nap or something. Um, you know, they, they, what these guys do is they, 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 this is how they honestly think. Um, they don't want you on the computer. They don't want you on the phone. Um, they don't want you leaving the house, you know. Um, if they had it their way, they would want you, they would want you sitting on the bed, staring at the wall, you know, with no windows, you know. Um, that's the way they, they, they expect you to be, you know, they, to make their job easy. They, they want you sitting on your bed, staring at the wall, you know, um, so they can work on you, you know, and that, that's what these guys ex expect, you know, so, so, you know, I, I'm up at seven and I try to get back to bed and all this stuff and they won't let it happen. So I'm laying there. And they're working on me, you know, they're working on my brain, you know, manipulating me and, um, you know, getting reactions out of me when I'm, when I'm trying to sleep, you know, doing, uh, putting images in, uh, you know, past memories, like I said a thousand times, you know, so that, but these guys, these guys, they honestly, they, they expect you to sit on your bed. And stare, stare at the wall and watch the paint dry. You know, it makes their job easy. You know, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to get up. They don't have to, you know, you got AI and then I think these guys mess around and change the frequencies manually and all this stuff, you know. But, you know, so they can, uh, I think they do a lot of things manually. Um, oh boy, you know, it's, uh, it's so difficult to explain because I know they're doing things manually, but um, the AI is working all the time too. Um, as far as the AI, they will, uh, I think this is AI where they will um, constantly replay a memory, you know, inject a memory, you know, whatever. It could be a couple minutes, it could be every 10 seconds. Um, I think that is AI doing that, um, but I think they can set the AI different, um, settings, you know, to do some of this stuff. Um, I'm not going to go whole, whole lot into that, um, you know, and stuff. Well, my sister just texted me, um, you know, I'm not going to go a whole lot into that, but... Um, you know, I know it's AI and I know it's supercomputer hitting you and all that stuff, but I do think they can do a lot of things manually because they can, you know, they can lay off you if they want to, 
you know? Um, and some days they can hit you hard, you know, um, with, uh, you know, it could be anything, you know, they could be injecting, uh, uh, past memories, uh, in your mind every 10 seconds, but, but they have the ability to lay off you too, you know, and stuff. I'm not going to go into that. It's confusing. All that stuff, I, I think I understand all that stuff, um, you know, going through it firsthand, um, you know, and stuff, but um, I wasn't even going to really talk about that, but, you know, so they kind of laid off me today, and I, get, I did get some rest, um, I feel a lot better today, um, had an appetite and all, all that stuff, um, you know, they'll, they'll do this to me every couple weeks where um, they... Uh, they hit me hard, you know, they'll, they'll do it, um, you know, 40, 40, oh, you know, almost two days straight, they'll nail me, um, 40 hours or whatever, um, you know, it's like a power, uh, torture session, session, um, you know, they'll do that, um, they'd be doing it more and more often, um, you know, I mean, you know, it, you know, sometimes it gets to the point where you're almost calling for help. You know, I mean, you know, do they want to send you to psych ward? I don't know. You know, I don't think they want me back there. They told me I was never going to go back there, you know. But these guys act like they want to send me there. You know, it's like I've been there three times already. If I go there again, I'm not going to be back, you know. They're going to do something with me. They're either going to take me away from these idiots, you know, or they're going to do something with me, and I probably won't be back, you know. You know. You know, so it, it's... I don't know what would happen if I got locked up again, you know. So anyway, I want to talk about uh, something else. I want to change the subject. Um, so I went to a call and all this stuff, and they said that... Somebody on there said that uh, targeted justice was no more. Uh, and they said that Midge wasn't a part of targeted justice anymore. Which doesn't surprise me, you guys, okay? I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you guys the truth of what I think is going on, alright? And perps and all this stuff. People avoid talking about perps. We're surrounded by them, you guys. They're hurting us. They're out to hurt us. I'm trying to tell you that. You know? So, somebody said Midge left her old group, Targeted Justice. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, um, I mentioned Targeted Justice a while back. I, you know, Midge is a real TI. Some people say she's fake. But she's a real T.I. I've seen her injuries. They're real. She's a real T.I. She gets hit hard. And she's like me. She gets desperate. And she'll contact uh, people in government. You know, um, the attorney, attorney general. Uh, 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 oh, my God. I can't even think. Uh, you know, the the... Uh, Department of Justice, you know, and, and stuff like that. And that's what I do, too. When you get desperate, you contact people hoping for help, you know. Um, so that's what she does. She's a real TI. Um, you know, so apparently she left her own group. I said it months ago, you guys. She's surrounded by perps and doesn't even know it. She's very, very, very... Very naive. She's a very naive person. Um, you know, I hate to say that. I'm not trying to be mean. But she's very naive. Like some TIs out there are. You know. Um, you know, looking through colored glass. Um, she's surrounded by by perps that I know are known, are known perps. Alright. Um, there's another TI, TI out there. It makes videos that defends these people um, because he just doesn't want to 
you know, pull his head off his butt and realize what the hell's going on, you know. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm trying to tell you guys the truth. So I, I told you months ago, months ago, that there's not going to be a, lo a class action lawsuit. You know, it's not going to happen. They, they, they didn't have lawyers. They didn't, you know, it's not going to happen. I told you guys that months ago. Um, I told you guys that Midge was surrounded by perps. Um, they act like her friend, all right? But they're not, they're not her friend, all right? They're there to ruin her, you know? I told you guys that months ago. Well, apparently they, they pushed her out of her own organization, um, and she's not a part of targeted justice anymore. And targeted justice sounds like it's falling apart, you know. Told you guys that months ago, months ago. All right, um, you know we have other TIs out there making videos. They just don't want to wake up. They 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 don't want to wake up, and they're giving you guys false hope. You know, giving you false hope. You know, um, you know, we should join the lawsuit. Oh, and the UN. Oh, the UN. Let's make a video on the UN every day. Oh, make a video on the UN. I'll get you guys so hyped up on the UN. I can't wait till October. Whatever date, 21st, whatever date it was. Oh, I'm telling you guys, I can't wait till October when the UN finally talks about us. And they're going to do something about this. You know. I can't believe nobody's talking about this. This is such a huge deal. You know. Alright. So. People that are making videos like that. You know. Oh I can't wait. You guys stick with me. I'm getting views. And, uh, and we're going to. We're going to. This is coming out you guys. The UN is going to do this for us. And blah. You know. I told you guys months before that, I said the UN thing isn't going to turn out to be nothing. I told you guys, and I was right. I was right. The UN turned out to be a big <laughs> shit flop. You know, I told you guys the truth. You know, don't get your hopes up and all that stuff. It's not going to happen. You know, they didn't even mention us. They didn't even talk about us. All right, um, you know, I guess they did talk about us in the paperwork or something, but they didn't publicly talk about us in front of everyone, you know. Anyway, it turned out to be a big <laughs> flop, all right. So I'm trying to tell you guys the truth on what's going on in this community, in these people are are making videos and they're in their in their their head is in the clouds. They don't know what the hell's going on. You know? And they've been in the program for ten years and they still don't know what the hell's going on. They can't tell the perps from real TIs. I've been in the program for almost seven years and I figured it out. I know who's a perp and I who's I know who's not. You know? So, um, not trying to get loud, I'm sorry for that. Um, it's just, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, people are giving false hope to people. They're giving them hope and all this stuff, and then you're hurting their feelings. They, they, you know, you're getting them excited. You bring their, you bring them up, and then boom, you knock them down. When everything you talk about to bring them up flops. And some people have been doing this for years, and people just don't learn. You know, stop listening to these people. You know, they're gullible, they're naive, they're so naive out there. I'm talking real TIs that make videos, they're so naive, they don't know what the hell's going on. They really don't. So I've been warning you guys for months about targeted justice and the UN thing. It's amazing when it fails, they don't talk about it anymore. You know, you notice them talking about it anymore? They don't talk about it anymore, you know? They should hide their head in the sand and be totally embarrassed 
because, you know, and they should apologize to people who watch them. You know, hey, I'm sorry for getting your hopes up. And they didn't even mention us. You know, people were watching the speech and watching this stuff on YouTube and all this stuff. And they didn't mention us at all. You know, I knew it was a flop. I knew it. I told you guys it was a flop before it happened. And, you know, I'm trying to keep it real here. And we have people out there looking through colored glass. Don't know what the hell is going on. You know, they won't wake up. They won't wake up. They've been doing it for 10 years. They just stubborn or, or they have tunnel vision or, or something is wrong with them. I don't know what the, I don't know what's wrong with them. They're naive. They're very gullible. You know? You know? And they're friends with perps. They're all friends with perps. You know? I, I don't know if they're that lonely where, you know, I mean, you have, you have a lot of friends, but they're all perps. I can tell that just by looking at them. You know, just by them talking, you know. I mean, they're sitting there perping you and you don't even realize it. You know, I mean. So anyway, my point is, it sounds like targeted justice is a shithole. It's done, you know. Which doesn't surprise me. Midge is real. She's surrounded by perps. I told you guys that months ago. Months ago. There is no class action. It's not going to happen. I told you guys that months ago. You know, they don't even have lawyers and all this stuff. I'm trying to protect you guys. Maybe I don't sound the nicest when I do it. I'm trying to look out for you guys. I want you guys to be safe. You know, don't take perps into your house. You know, and all this stuff, you know, that can hurt you. We can't do background checks on these people. You guys, you know, we have to be very, very careful. There's some dangerous people out there. Very dangerous people out there that are out there to hurt us. You know, they're out there to hurt us, not help us. And they act like the sweetest person, but they're not. They're not. You know, it's a, it, you know, they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. And they're out there getting paid to hurt us. You know, they'll help us a little bit. But they are out there to hurt us. Be careful out there, you guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to wake people up. I'm trying to tell the truth. It's hard because other TIs have a bigger following than I do. And they'll counteract what I'm saying. And they'll discredit me. They'll discredit what I'm saying. Everything that I've said so far came true. You guys. About the UN. About targeted justice. About these perps. I'm trying to warn you guys. You know. And I'm keeping it real. You know. Um, I do care about you guys out there. You know. Real TIs. I, we've got to be safe. Um, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't want to see anybody on the street. You know. Separated from their family. Um, you know. I'll, I'll tell you something really quick. Um, I was thinking about this today. Um, when, at the beginning of my program, you know, um, I'm a high target. I'm a big target. Um, uh, they, um, my my perps, um, were doing some awful things to me in the beginning of my program. Um, you know, they were... Um, you know, well, a few videos back, you know, Brian Two said that, you know, Brian Two's like, I never smoked cigarettes before in my life, you know, but they were um, trying to encourage him to smoke a cigarette. All right, so they can put, they can put uh, between subliminals, and um, I'm not sure how they do it, if they heterodyne or what. But they can put the urge in you to do something. Well, they were, they were trying to get me to do drugs. I don't do drugs, you know. Um, another thing they were trying to do is um, they were trying to um, make me homeless. You know, the, the, the very first time I was in the psych ward, the police brought me there. Um a family member called the police on me 
and they brought me to the psych ward. I was there for three days. And all my family members were like, nope, you can't stay with me. Nope, you can't stay with me. Nope, you can't stay with me. You know, and I had a car. So I was like, well, I guess I'm living in my car. You know, and then my relative took me in where I'm at now. You know, um, so I wasn't out on the street, but they tried to get me out on the street. You know, um, and then they were spreading rumors. Um, were they really spreading rumors or were they acting out skits? They would act out skits and say rumors about me. They were totally not true. I didn't know what was going on at that time. I, you know, it was confusion, totally confusion, total confusion in all this stuff. But in the beginning of my program, they tried to really ruin me, make me homeless. Tried to get me addicted to drugs. I don't do drugs, you know, I don't do that. Um... They were trying to you know, make it so you can't get a job, obviously. You have no money. All right, and I'll tell you a little secret. Um, if you're a real target and you're a pretty big target, um, I said this before and people disagree with me. Um, there are people out there to protect us. Um, there's an agency. Um, there's an agency out there. Um, to make sure I don't get hurt, um, to make sure I'm not out on the street, living underneath the highway, you know, um, so there's an agency out there that kind of saved my life, because there's, there's different groups, and they're all on a different page, you guys, they're all on a different page, you got one group that wants to ruin your life, they'd love to kill you, they would love it, but you have another group out there that is looking out for you and to make sure you're safe, whether you want to admit it or not. That's the way it is, you know. I told you guys that before. Um, I told you, I said, there's people out there to protect us, whether you want to admit it or not. You know, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for a certain group um, protecting me, you know. Um, you know, like I say, when I get hit super hard, there's cops around. You know, the other day, there was an undercover sheriff sitting on the side of the road. You know, um, somebody's looking out for me um, to make sure nothing happens to me and I stay safe. You know, but these guys want to hurt me. I'm telling you, they want to hurt me. But there are people out there. Um, you know, um... You know, I'll, I'll tell you something else really quick. Um, you know, I, and this sounds kind of crazy, and people may laugh at this. Um, you know, but when I was desperate, um, I wrote to the DOD. And um, I explained what I was going through and all this stuff. And I said, can you make sure my email goes to someone big? Someone big. Can you make sure my email goes to some someone big? Because I was getting hit super hard. I was being tortured super bad. And all this stuff. And I wrote to the DOD. And asked for... I What I, I asked for, I asked for protection. You know. Um, I was desperate. I was very desperate. Alright, so I went to... I, I, you know, later on the date or whatever, or the next day, I, um, uh, I went to the park, took my dog to the park, um, there was a big black government SUV, brand new, black, clean, tinted windows, leaving the parking lot, alright, that was, that was a sign, um, saying, all right, we're here, you know, we're here, we're looking out for you, you know, you got protection, you know, they can't stop the torture, but they're, what they're doing is they're babysitting these guys, these guys have to be babysitting, so they don't kill you, you know, they have to be babysat, so they don't kill you, you know, otherwise I'd be dead by now, they'd kill me by accident or really by purpose, you know, 
or on purpose, you know. So I'm trying to, you know, some of the bigger TIs probably don't believe me, but there are people looking out for us. Whether they're in plain sight or not, there are people out there. If you're a big target, they got million, they got millions, millions of dollars into us. Millions. And a lot of us been in the program since we were a kid or born. You know? Personally, I think I've been in the program 47 years. You know? Since the Air Force, Air Force base up there. You know, we used to go there for medical care. I went up there when I was a kid. I was a blonde haired, brown eyed kid. You know? And uh, my dad was in the Air Force. I think that's how I, it, this started for me. You know? So anyway, um, you know, people may not believe this, but there are people out there uh, to protect us. We we got several groups in our in this program, you guys. The, the, we got a group that wants to hurt us, and then we have the group that want that has to babysit these idiots to make sure they don't kill us. You know, I figure. You know, the trauma-based pr program has been going on for me for almost seven years. If they're spending $2 million a year, that's $14 million. That doesn't count the silent mode. $14 million. That may, th that may only be pennies if they get a trillion dollars a year for back black budget. But that's a lot of money to me. That's a lot of money to spend on someone, you know. And, you know, they're spending a lot of money on us, on all of us, you guys, to do this. Um, you know, so, you know, I'm just going to stop there. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I think there are people watching out for us, um, you know, um, because these people are trying to hurt us. I think they have to be babysat by an agency, you know, and make sure they don't kill us, you know. Because it doesn't matter, you know, you got the group, that they don't care if they kill you or not, they don't care. You know, when I was getting V2K, they were like, oh, this is just a job, just a job, nothing personal, it's just a job, and I was being tortured to hell. So, you could torture somebody for four hours and take a damn lunch break. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Subway for lunch. I'm gonna take a half hour off and eat my lunch, and then I'm gonna torture the hell out of this guy all afternoon. They don't care. It's just a job to these idiots. They don't care about human life at all. They don't care. You know. So anyway, I'm gonna stop that there. Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna shut up. Um. So. I'm having a couple of drinks tonight, trying to chill out and all this stuff. So I thought I would talk about all this stuff tonight. Um, you know, um, thank you for the comments, you guys. I know you guys are getting hit too, um, out there. You know, maybe things will change. Um, uh, supposedly Biden is good. He's in good with some of these people that may be doing this to us, and maybe. I don't know. Maybe something will change. All I know is, since Trump's been in office, I've been getting nailed since he's been in office. So I'm glad he's getting out of there. Even if even if Biden's a puppet, you know, I'm glad uh, Trump is out of there. He hasn't done anything for us. I don't know why people are so for him. You know, they act like he's so wonderful and all that stuff. He hasn't done anything for TIs. Nothing. You know, oh God, it's after 10 o'clock. All right, I've been rambling for a while, so I'm going to shut this off. You guys have a good weekend and all that stuff, and stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you guys later.